If you want to know what it's like to live in Damani Ranch, stick around. Hey everyone, it's David Tully and on this channel, I give you local real estate market insights and I show you what it's like to live and play in the area. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what it's like to live in Damani Ranch easily one of the best neighborhoods in all of reno and no i'm not just saying that because i live here it truly is one of the best areas due to schools amenities and easy access to most things so if you enjoy this type of content please make sure it's a like button and subscribe and if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the area and you need some help just reach out all right so one of the best parts about damani ranch is damani ranch park and no it's not the biggest or the best park but one of the biggest reasons why i love this park is because of the easy access to the wetlands so on the back side of the park you have easy access to miles and miles of trails. You're gonna see the beautiful Damani Ranch wetlands and gorgeous views of Mount Rose. You're gonna see a lot of friendly people from adults to kids, running, biking, walking their dogs, or maybe even riding their scooters. It's a really fun and good experience for all your families and friends that live in the area. So this is easily one of the best parts of Damani Ranch. Another cool part is, of course it's a park, for the kids to play at and it has a pavilion for you or a bench to have a little picnic or have a birthday party and there even is a small basketball court but another fun thing about damani ranch park is on fourth of july and new year's they have fireworks which is really cool they shut down the area they have some vendors they offer some ice cream and it's a really fun event for people to watch you know the fireworks on fourth of july and new year's and not have to go to downtown reno so i highly recommend you check out damani ranch park all right so one of the best things about damani ranch is we have great schools in the area so the first school i want to talk about is brown elementary and brown elementary is located kind of on the back side of damani ranch between curdy ranch and caramella ranch but it's only a few minutes away depending on where you are it is a very good elementary school with high ratings on greatschools.org but they had some overcrowding issues just like a lot of schools in the area and they're currently building more elementary schools so if you're zoned for brown i would be happy but we also have a couple other good ones as well but it's very easy to get to like i said on the back side of curdy ranch and hopefully you're zoned for brown all right so next up is polakitas elementary which is the newest elementary in damani ranch it's located right on the border of damani ranch and bella vista ranch bella vista ranch is a fairly new toll brothers home that was recently completed and it's kind of close to the intersection of south meadows and veterans but like i said this is currently the newest elementary school in the area home of the wildcats and a lot of homes in the area were rezoned for polakitas so you might want to double check to see whether you're in polakitas or brown elementary all right so the newest elementary school is going to be called j wood raw elementary and it's going to be located right on rio wrangler right next to a brand new de loretto community which is going to be kind of in or the right in the heart of damani ranch and that should be completed sometime in 2023 so it's really exciting but you know make sure to check and see you know if your home has been rezoned because obviously in the 2023 2024 year you know your school might have been changed from brown to j wood raw or maybe even polakitas to j wood raw so i highly recommend you look into that when you're buying a home if that is a huge concern but it is really nice that they're building a lot of elementary schools in Damani Ranch in South Reno. So we're not dealing with as much overcrowding. All right, so the only middle school in the area is DePauli Middle School, which is actually located in Double Diamond. But don't worry, Double Diamond and Damani Ranch kind of border each other and are located in the same South Reno or South Meadows area. So it's very easy to get to and it's located on Wilbur May. It's a fairly good sized middle school, so 
Hopefully you like it. And like I said, it's very easy to get to located in Double Diamond. All right, so Damani Ranch High School is gonna be the only high school in the Damani area, and it's the home of the Mustangs. And if you currently live in Damani or you know somebody, they can easily tell you why it's the home of the Mustangs. You're gonna see wild Mustangs wandering around through certain parts of the year, maybe eating some of your lawn, but don't worry, they don't usually cause too much damage. But what I will say is please be careful driving at night because it can be very dark and there might be a handful of Mustangs crossing the road. So just be careful. But Damani Ranch High School has a very good rating on great schools and they have a nice big football field and other fields for the kids and other recreational activities. It's located right on Rio Wrangler on the back side of Damani Ranch and it's very easy to get to and a very good high school. So you're thinking about moving or visiting Damani Ranch and you're wondering what kind of restaurants and bars do they have in the area? So if you're looking for a good happy hour, I highly recommend checking out Flowing Tide on South Meadows. They have happy hours seven days a week and you can get beers for around $3 on happy hour. You just can't beat it. And it's my wife and I's favorite happy hour. I highly recommend checking out Sierra Gold as well, which is just across the street on South Meadows if you're looking for happy hours. If you're looking for some good restaurants and you want some pizza, I highly recommend checking out South Creek, Lamp Post, or Wild Garlic. If you're looking for some Mexican food in the area, I highly recommend checking out Miguel's or Marietta's. And if you're looking for some seafood or steak, checking out Land Ocean. And if you're looking for some more American or American with a twist, that's a little more upscale, but they also have a happy hour, I recommend checking out Twisted Fork. There's gonna be a handful of other places like BJ's Brewery that I could recommend to you, but if you have any other questions about any restaurants or bars in Damani or South Reno, just reach out. I'd be happy to give you some recommendations. All right, so I think one of the biggest pros to Damani Ranch is how close we are to so many amenities. So just a few minutes away to most parts of Damani Ranch, you're gonna find a shopping center with Safeway, Home Depot, Office Depot, RC Willys, which offers furniture, a mattress store, and a handful of gyms and restaurants and bars very close by. And that is within just a few minutes. If you drive a few minutes further, you're gonna find another shopping center with Smith's Grocery Store, Sprouts Grocery Store, Winco, and many, many more. As you can see, it's very convenient. And if you wanna drive just maybe four to six minutes away, you're gonna hit the Summit Mall, which has Sephora, which I know the women love, Apple Store, BJ's Brewery, and a ton of other shopping out there. It's a really great outdoor mall, and I highly recommend you check those places out. All right, so not only does Damani Ranch have a lot of amenities close by, it's not far from most things. So if you're trying to get to the freeway, I would say it would take you anywhere from just a few minutes to hop on the freeway, and about 15 minutes to get to the airport. If you're trying to get to downtown Reno, I say you're looking at about 20 to 22 minutes. If you're trying to get to the closest ski resort, that's gonna be Mount Rose, which is about 20 to 25 minutes away. And my wife and I absolutely love Mount Rose because if there's a slow day on our day off, we like to go there during the week or the work week, and you can be back by noon and get back to work, which is really, really nice. Another great thing about Damani Ranch is we have a hospital called Renown South, which is just five to six minutes away, which is very, very convenient. And if you're trying to get to Lake Tahoe, you're only looking at about 40 to 45 minutes. So as you can see, we have a lot of amenities and most things are fairly close to Damani Ranch. All right, so Damani Ranch has a good feeling because it feels like it's somewhat newer, but also well-maintained and well-established. That's because a significant portion of Damani Ranch was built kind of in the early to mid 2000s with a bunch of builders, of course, slowing down after the market crash of about 2008 to 2012. There's gonna be a ton of national builders that built homes in the area, such as D.R. Horton, Lennar, and Toll Brothers. And I would say that Lennar and Toll Brothers have built a significant portion of Damani Ranch, and Lennar and Toll Brothers are still currently building homes in the area. There are some reputable local builders that have built some homes in the area as well, such as Genuine Communities, DiLoretto, and Reinen and Bartis, which now 
can be called artisan communities. So if you have any other questions about a specific pocket or neighborhood, just reach out and I'd be happy to give you more information on them. But as you can see, Damani Ranch is very convenient and has a lot of amenities nearby and that is why so many people love it. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this video about Damani Ranch. And if you have any other questions about any specific neighborhoods within Damani, or if you have any questions about amenities, restaurants, or bars, just leave your questions down in the comments below or reach out to me directly. And if you enjoy this type of content, please make sure to like button and subscribe. And if you're thinking about moving or relocating to the area and you need some help, just give me a call. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.